Exploring the world of animals. Back with us today is Noelle Tarrant, a licensed animal educator and owner of Zoosort. And we love having you on. This is so much fun. Thanks so tell us me. who you brought with you today. Well, you have Wanda with you right now, and she Hi. is a baby wallaby. She's and so, so sweet. A wallaby is a small version of a kangaroo. So kangaroos can get very tall. You know, they yeah, get the big. big kangaroo get like 200 pounds. And aggressive. And very aggressive, yes. Oh. And But um, she will not get, and kangaroo, wallabies don't get any bigger than 40 pounds. So okay. that's full grown for a wallaby. And how old is she? She's about two months out of the pouch. Out of the pouch. Out of the pouch. So, so well, when she Because this is fascinating how the whole pouch thing works. Yeah, it's kind of complicated. When she first goes into the mom's pouch, she's about the size of a jelly bean. And she doesn't have any hair. She doesn't have ears. She doesn't have eyes. All she basically has is a mouth and little hands, not even arms. And they Aww. climb their way up into the pouch and then they grow inside the pouch. And then after about six months, they now stick their head out of the pouch and they'll eat grass and they'll come on out of the pouch. Oh, she's yawning. <laughs> and they'll come on out of the pouch. And that's where she was. About two months ago, she was at that point. Um, so they'll do that. And then the mom will have another baby in the pouch that's like the size of a jelly bean. And they're, I mean, she's very sweet and calm. Is this their demeanor when they're older? Um, she, hopefully she'll stay that way. I mean, I tried to get her when she was really small and get her used to children and used to yeah. all loud noises and all that. And, and you bottle feed her. In the, I mean, she's like your baby. She's my baby. Yes, she Aww. is. I carry her everywhere I go. I go everywhere with her, and I carry her around like in a bag. So if you see me out somewhere, don't tell anybody. It's a secret. She's in there with just me. Just a tuck <laughs> She's like a person. You know, no, no big deal. And you have another. Yes, I do. I do. Uh, pretty girl here. This is Lola. And Lola is big. Yes, she is. She's called a giant marine toad. That's what she is. And they're the largest type of toad in the world. And she will keep getting bigger than this. Now. You, have you ever seen a toad out in your backyard or anything yeah, like that? Yeah, you know, a small one, yeah. smaller than your fist. Yeah, we have small toads. This is like a South American toad, and people might know also cane toads. You've heard the name expression cane yeah. toad from Australia? These were introduced to Australia years ago, back in the 60s, and so they're inv invaded, invaded there. But you see these things right here? Yeah. These are poison glands, and all toads have them. Even a small toad you find in your backyard. Wow. And that's how the toad can protect itself. If an animal comes along and tries to eat it, out of these poison glands, this and, and they're bad look, they're, you can't maybe can't see it, but there are like little um, little holes pores. in there. Yeah. So it would actually come out. It of would the... come out. It wouldn't squeeze out. Okay. It would just ooze out, and it would taste bad. So hopefully they you'd, you'd put them down and all that. Now, would that happen with a human? Uh, like, do they f fear? If you tried to eat her, you yeah, the poison would come out. Hurt it. Um, if you it's squeezed her, her, if you squeezed her and hurt okay. her, yes, the poison would come out. And, okay. But it would get in your mouth and it would taste really okay. bad. What and do you see? I don't know what she sees. She's she's kind of hot here. I think she was sweating before. I want to let people know too that you're going to be at Bratfest on Monday if people want to check it out. Yes, if you go to my if you go to my Facebook page, all my events are there. I'm doing uh, tons of libraries and uh, uh, Baraboo Zoo and all that kind of stuff. I want to take her out so everybody okay. can see. Okay. Yeah, real we're quick. running out of time. All so right. do a little. Well, hopefully oh, the toad doesn't go off the table. Okay, here I'll grab is. her. Look at her. She's, she's I have big feet. Oh, big stretch. <laughs> Look at you. Oh, toad's running. Okay. Okay, we're out of time. I hope you don't squeeze your glands on me. I'm pregnant. Okay, if you want to learn more about Zuzort and Noelle's live animal programs or see that list of events, just go to NBC15.com and click on news links. We'll be right back. Thank you. Hi. It's okay.